Dear students of the third prep grade and welcome to a new episode of our program. Uh, this is uh, our revision uh, for science. Uh, we dedicated this uh, uh, episode especially uh, for those who asked for it. Uh, everybody wanted uh, to uh, review uh, science before uh, they set for uh, their exams. Uh, some students haven't yet started their science uh, exam. Uh, so we're here uh, for you. Uh, on this episode and we'll be reviewing everything you studied during the first semester. Uh, let me first uh, welcome our guest teacher, Mr. Mohammed Mahmoud, uh, expert of science at the Ministry of Education. Hello, Mr. Mohammed, and welcome to the program. Hello, yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, Mr. Mohammed, uh, once again, we're here. <coughs> yes. Uh, for, because, you know, some students haven't yet uh, started their science yes. exam and they need this episode uh, very much. Okay, uh, hello dear students, let's go to start our revision today and uh, we have some types of questions as uh, give reason, complete, what happens and some types of problems according to uh, drawing as uh, mirrors and lenses and according to uh, mathematical rules as uh, uh, speed, acceleration, distance and displacement and so on. So let's go to start our revision today with the first type of questions as number one, give reason for. And let's go to start with the first question in the curriculum with uh, speedometer. So the first question, as you see in front view in the uh, monitor, here we have cars and the planes are provided with the speedometers. Regular speed because we have other objects can move with us so we, we uh, yani, uh, our uh, speed or our motion change from one uh, time to another okay next question dear students is physics use mathematical relation like graphs and tables like graphs and tables why we use graphs here and tables uh, by physicists or by uh, any scientists, especially physicists, here in science, why we use mathematical relations like graphs and tables? We have two answers here, dear students, to answer by two answers at the same time. So, to indicate the relation between the physical quantities, to know the relation between the physical quantities, and number two, to describe the physical quantities in easy way. عشان أوصفها بطريقة سهلة. As speed, time, distance, displacement, velocity, acceleration, uniform or non-uniform, increasing or decreasing acceleration, and so on. So here, dear students, we can identify or use graphs and tables. Number one to indicate the relation between the physical quantities. Number two, describe the physical quantities in easy way. So we have two reasons here, dear students, to know or to use graphs and tables. Next question, dear students, is when the driver used the car brakes, we say that is a decelerating motion. A decelerating motion when the driver use the car brakes we say that is a decelerating motion so here we talk about what we talk about decelerating motion so we can answer according to what according to the decelerating motion or decreasing acceleration so how can we answer this question according to the definition of decreasing acceleration as because the speed decreases through the time which means final speed less than initial speed we can answer by two ways here dear students speed decreases through the time unit or final speed which means v2 less than يعني أقل من طبعا V1, which means the initial speed or the starting speed السرعة الأولية أو السرعة الابتدائية. Next question is, as we see, 
The body which moves with acceleration never moves at regular motion. The body which moves with acceleration never moves at regular motion. طبعا عمر البادي بتحرك acceleration and we know what is meant by acceleration. Acceleration which means the speed change through time units. Never moves at what regular motion. So because the speed doesn't what? Yes. So here we answer because the speed of the body's speed change through what time? لأن هو بيتحرك بأكسلريشن يعني موفز with acceleration so it can't move with regular motion and we know acceleration which means change of the speed through time units so here in this question we answer according to the definition of acceleration as we see these students here from these definitions uh, we can answer any question from the uh, previous questions according to the definition we have keep the answer inside any question from these previous questions as we see uh, acceleration uh, regular speed um, why we use uh, tables and the graphs uh, speedometer uh, uniform speed and so on so any question from these previous questions we can indicate the answer ممكن نطلع الإجابة from the question ممكن أطلع الإجابة من السؤال جوا. Any word can be exchange or rearrange. أنا مش حافظ. أنا can understand the question and understand the answer from the question. Okay. Let's go to complete our revision today with next question as we see in front of you. Okay. Question number seven as you see here. It said that the body moves with uniform acceleration. So how can we answer this question, dear students? I think we know the game now. عرفنا اللعبة. Uniform acceleration. So how can we answer? We answer uniform acceleration according to the definition because the body's speed changes with equal values through. Equal or an equal intervals of time. So we answer here, dear students, according to what? According to the definition of uniform acceleration, and we answer the speed change with equal values through equal intervals of time. Next question is. Speed time graphs for an object with uh, which moves with uniform speed is a straight line parallel to the time axis. Parallel to the time axis, as we see here, like that. This uh, graph of speed and time, as we know, here we have uh, speed and time, v t graph, and here we have a straight line parallel to the time axis. Mm. How can we answer this question? We can answer according to what? Mm. Uniform speed. But the graph is speed time. So the speed time which means acceleration. How can we answer this question? Okay, speed time at the same time we talk about uniform speed, so the speed doesn't change. So we can answer according to or because the speed doesn't change. السرعة ما تغيرتش عشان كده we talk about uniform speed and at the same time uh, here in this question uh, straight line parallel to the time axis which means v2 equal v1 which means acceleration equals zero no change in the speed speed doesn't change next question is mass and time are scalar physical quantities so how can we answer we can answer according to what we can answer according to scalar quantities and we know scalar what is meant by scalar physical quantities as we see here because they identify by or with magnitude only with magnitude only and we know 
what is meant by magnitude, magnitude as number with measuring units. Okay? Next question. Velocity and force are vector physical quantities. Velocity and force are vector physical quantities. We can identify the answer here according to vector. Okay? Velocity and force are vector physical quantities. So we can answer according to the definition of vector physical quantities because they identify with magnitude and direction. Because we know any vector physical quantities can identify by magnitude and direction as uh, velocity, force, displacement, weight, acceleration. They are represent what vector physical quantities. Okay, the body which moves in a straight line, its displacement equal distance. We have only one case when the body moves in a straight line. As we see here from point, as we see from point A to point B here. In this case, the body, for example, covered 5 meters and at the same time, its displacement equal 5 meters. Why? Because in this case, only in this case, the body distance is the shortest straight line between two points. واحد يقول لي لا لا displacement shortest is the shortest straight line between the two points. أقول له صح. But only in this case, في الحالة دي بس. Only in this case, the displacement because in this case the dis the distance equal the shortest straight line. Between two points. Just we put what? We put distance and we combine. Rakibna mahamin. The definition of what? Of displacement. Shortest straight line between two points. Okay? Here we should uh, remember the uh, distance. Uh, we know distance is the actual length between two points. And displacement is the shortest straight line between two points. But sometimes displacement equal distance أقوله because in this case في الحالة دي بس the distance equal the shortest straight line between two points ما بين نقطتين يبقى only in this case the displacement equal distance. Next question is the amount of fuel and we know fuel اللي هو الوقود by a plane are different according to the wind direction. The wind direction على حسب اتجاه الرياح. طبعا اكيد. In cars, in planes, according to the condition of the road. As a desert road, as a uh, flat road or soft road. And, uh, يعني لو حتى الطريق متسفلت غير لما يبقى sandy road for example. يعني طريق رمل. The amount of fuel is different. According to the wind direction, why we can answer here? Because when the plane flies against wind direction, will consume more fuel. If the plane flies against wind direction, will consume more fuel. Fuel. At salak waqood akter. Okay. Question fifteen. The image that formed by the plane mirror is virtual. How can we answer this question? From what words we can use this word to answer virtual? And we know virtual, which means not real. يعني مش حقيقي يعني وهمي. So we answer why? Because it can't be received on the screen. It can't be received on the screen. Sometimes, sometimes we have a question as virtual image. Give reason for can't be received on the screen. يعني the answer change to be a question. تبقى هي الإجابة نفسها سؤال why give reason for 
as we see here okay this image why can't be received on the screen how can we answer this question in this case how look because it formed due to intersection of what of extensions of reflected rays why we use these two words any virtual image can't be received on the screen so it's formed due to intersections of extensions okay and we talk about mirror plane mirror so hmm, due to intersection of extensions of reflected rays because we talk about mirrors especially the plane mirrors okay 16 as convex mirror is divergent mirror how can we answer this question we can answer according to the translation ممكن بس ان احنا نترجمه convex mirror divergent mirror we know divergent يعني بيشتت يعني بيفرق يعني separate صح يبقى because it separates خلاص يبقى انا ترجمت divergent but we talk about mirror separates light after reflection why after reflection because here we talk about what because here we talk about mirror so we say reflection and we transfer a translate divergent by separate as we have another answer is concave mirror is convergent mirror convergent mirror here why because hmm, because it a yes because it collects concave converge collect light rays after hmm, reflection why after reflection because here we talk about what because here we talk about the uh, convergent which means collect add the mirror which means reflect so as you see dear students in this question and the previous questions we can identify any answer from the question according to definition according to scientific term as we act with give reason for as complete or as what happens when if you know the concept depends on what on what point in our curriculum we can answer this question from the uh, from the previous of uh, uh, the previous questions we can and identify the answer from the question from any part from the curriculum نعرف الانسر بتاعتنا جات منين not by a learning only and just نحنا نحفظ الانسر we should understand how can we get the answer from inside the question okay let's go to complete the next question as we see what happens uh, F, the next type of the questions. As we are seeing in the middle, the light rays fall perpendicular on the reflecting surface. A light ray perpendicular. What happens in this case? So we can answer from perpendicular. If the light ray falls perpendicular, as you see, like that, on a reflecting surface. Hmm. How can we answer? The light ray falls perpendicular as the light ray reflects on what? Reflect. How come? Reflect on itself. يبقى في الحالة دي a light ray reflect on itself. As we studied before, زي ما خدنا قبل كده in second uh, prep, زي ما خدنا في تانية عدادي. Uh, in third prep if the light ray falls perpendicular it reflect on itself why reflect on itself and we know because angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal what equal zero only in this case be because in any incident ray and any reflected ray 
angle of incidence equal angle of reflection. But in this case, the angle of incidence equal the angle of reflection equal what? Equal zero. Okay. Next question. The light ray falls on the center of curvature of the concave or convex mirror. Add the same the same answer how can we answer this question the light ray falls on the center of curvature of concave mirror in this case a light ray reflect on itself يعني هنا هنا برضو the, the same answer like falls perpendicular like the center of curvature or falls on the center of curvature okay because Oh, the light ray will reflect on itself. Reflect on itself. هيرجع تاني على نفسه. And we know from the uh, as we see here from this figure, from this diagram, as principal axes, uh, are, we remember center of curvature here, focus and Fall of the mirror, focus, center of curvature. If the light ray falls through the center of curvature, it will reflect on itself like that. Because the angle of incidence equal the angle of reflection equal zero. Uh, light ray pass through focus of the mirror light ray passes through the focus of the mirror as we know if the light ray passes through or falls through focus of the mirror it reflects parallel to the principal axis and if the light ray falls parallel to the principal axis it will reflect through focus So the answer and the question are, we can replace uh, anyone to the other in the question. If the light ray falls parallel to the principal axis, it will reflect through focus. And if the light ray passes through focus, it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. Uh, number four, the light ray parallel to the, uh, the principal axis طبعاً, of concave mirror. We just answered this question uh, from a few seconds. Min all, it reflects passing through the focus. And we remember from this diagram, if we have concave mirror like that, and the light ray, uh, the principal axis here, we know we have uh, here a pole of the mirror, P, Here we have F, here we have C. If the light ray parallel to the principal axis like that, it will reflect through focus like that, as we see. And vice versa, if the light ray pass through focus, it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. The light ray falls parallel to the principal axis of convex lens. As we studied before, in convex lens, the light will refract, not reflect, because we talk about lens here, refracts passing through focus. And as we studied before, زي ما عملنا قبل كده, we have four points. We have how many points? We have here, C, F, P, P هنا which means optical center F and C and we have the imaginary line خط الوهم اللي بعمله عند ال optical center if the light ray falls parallel to the principal axis like that it will refract passing through the focus on the other side on the other focus of the lens because uh, lens has two foci Uh, Fukai Taban Gamma Focus, like radius and radii. Number six, the final speed of an object is less than initial speed. Here we talk about, uh, I think we talk about what? We talk about final speed V2 less than initial speed V1. 
So in this case, the body moves with what acceleration? In this case, the body moves with decelerating motion. يعني بتحرك بسرعة زي ما سموها تناقصية. As we use the brakes in the uh, طبعا in the uh, in the car. Okay. Here we have problem from problems. But before we answer this question, dear students, uh, we should uh, remember how can we use uh, our tools to answer these questions. Uh, لو نبص مع بعض هنا عندنا uh, طبعا ruler uh, protractor we should in, con in uh, mirrors as concave uh, mirrors we should use two equal distances from C to F equal from F to P P which means the pole of the mirror and in lenses we have four equal distances C, F, P and we have another side we have P, F and F, C So we should remember how can we use ruler, protractor. Why protractor? We, we, we can see now on the monitor. But we should uh, measure equal distances in the two cases as mirrors or lenses. And شوف كده مع بعض نسمها ازاي. Object at distance more than focal length but less than double focal length in front of concave mirror. لما يقول لي كونكيف ميرور بي هنا which means optical center F and C and we have the imaginary line خط الوهم اللي بعمله عند الoptical center if the light ray falls parallel to the principal axis like that it will refract passing through the focus on the other side on the other focus of the lens because uh, lens has two foci uh, foci taban gamma focus like radius and radii number six the final speed of an object is less than initial speed here we talk about uh, i think we talk about what we talk about final speed v2 less than initial speed v1 so in this case the body moves with what acceleration In this case, the body moves with decelerating motion. يعني بتحرك بسرعة زي ما سموها تناقصية. As we use the brakes in the uh, طبعا in the uh, in the car. Okay. Here we have problem from problems. But before we answer this question, dear students, uh, we should. Uh, Remember, how can we use uh, our tools to answer these questions? لو نبص مع بعض هنا عندنا طبعا ruler protractor we should in in mirrors as concave mirrors we should use two equal distances from C to F equal from F to P P which means the pole of the mirror and in lenses we have four equal distances C F P And we have another side, we have PF and FC. So we should remember how can we use ruler, protractor. Why protractor? We, we, we can see now on the monitor. But we should uh, measure equal distances in the two cases as mirrors or lenses. And شوف كده مع بعض نسمها ازاي. Object at distance more than focal length but less than double focal length. In front of concave mirror. Let me only concave mirror. Here we can uh, talk about what a concave mirror. We should use two equal distances. I get that in the middle of uh, your answer sheet. Okay. As we see, Keda. For example, uh, eight centimeters. خلاص. Eight centimeters. يعني from zero كده و four and eight okay then by ruler we can خلاص خط ال two equal distance بتوعي by ruler we can uh, make the what the principal axis مش عنديش مشكلة بعمل principal axis بتاع براحتي 
اهو البرنسبل اكسس بتاعي اوكي ذن باي بروتراكتور طبعا بجيب البروتراكتور بتاعي تو درو ذا ارك اوكي از وي سي كي هير وي درو ذا ارك ارسم قوس بتاعي لايك ذات خلاص اوكي Here the object at distance what here we have F, we have C center of curvature, we have focus, we have uh, optical center, uh, sorry ال هو مش optical center uh, pole of the mirror. بس هنا غير بس هنا مكان ال هنا هو بالضبط عشان يبقى عند ال P. As you see كده. Okay. خلاص. Like that, C, F, and P. Then we make shaded area to know back and front of the uh, mirror. So object here at distance more than focal length but less than double focal length, which means between F and C. At least two lines are فاو سطرين لفوق. Okay, and the by ruler we draw light ray parallel to the principal axis will reflect through what through focus like that and another light ray passes through focus and this ray will reflect as we see parallel to the principal axis like that so at, at the point of intersection between the reflected rays we should draw the uh, the image as we see head And in this case, the image is, as we see, is inverted. مقلوب. صورة مقلوبة. Hmm. So, we can write. Image is inverted. Number two. Real. Why real? Because it's, it's formed due to intersection of reflected rays. Number three. Magnified. مكبر. واحد يقول لي ما ينفعش اكتب بيجر ذان او يعني انلارجد ينفع او ماجنيفايد او بيجر ذان ينفع. نمبر فور افتر سنتر اوف كرفيتشر بعد سنتر اوف كرفيتشر يعني بعد السي لان هو ظهر هنا. It's very easy to use your tools to draw the image then we use this image to obtain the four properties from the uh, resulted image بيقولي هنا object at distance less than focal length in front of concave mirror طبعا زي ما احنا اتفقنا مع بعض اول حاجة by ايه by ruler اهو ruler قدامي how many equal distance we have here Two equal distance. لأن أنا في الميرور بيبقى عندي كام equal distance two. صح؟ طيب. زي ما احنا شايفين اهو. مثلا four and then eight. Okay. <coughs> then we can uh, draw the principal axis. خلاص بقى براحتي. أفرد the principal axis براحتي. Okay. Then we will use here the Uh, protractor اللي هو زي ما بيسموه المنقله كده اهو and we draw what the concave mirror okay we have how many uh, points here we have as we see C F and what and P. But in this case, the object at distance less than focal length. يعني between F and P like that. So we can use rule number one as a light ray parallel to the uh, principal axis. It will reflect through focus. And we will use rule number three 
and we will use rule number three. In this case, the light ray passes through the center of curvature, as you see like that. And if the light ray passes through the center of curvature, it will reflect on itself. So in this case, we will take the extension emptied by ruler. Extension by A by ruler, like that. So the image appears in this uh, point or in this place, uh, as we see behind uh, the mirror. يعني ورا المراية اوكي زي ما احنا شايفين ان هو بيبقى ايه نمبر 1 ايركت ايركت يعني ايه يعني معدول صورة معتدلة نمبر 2 فيرتشوال يعني كانت بي ريسيفد اون ذا سكرين يعني اتس فورمد ديو تو انترسكشن اوف اكستنشنز اوف ريفليكتد ريز نمبر 3 ماجنيفايد مكبرة or enlarged, magnified. And number four, in this case, we have this uh, image is what? Behind the mirror. واحد يقول لي ورا المراية هو ورا المراية في حاجة كلامك مظبوط بس أنا قلت من الأول إن هي إيه؟ virtual يعني صورة وهمية. As your image in the plain mirror زي صورتي في المراية العادية اللي في البيت عندي تبقى virtual. لأنها erect لأنها is formed due to intersection of extensions of reflected light rays. We have a type or another type of problems here. A car moves with the speed 40 meter per second. The car driver use the brakes. خلي بالنا نستخدم الـ brakes يعني نستخدم الفرامل to decrease the speed into 20 meter per second. 40 meter per second to 20 meter per second. Through two seconds, calculate the car acceleration, then mention its type. Mm -hmm. From this question, we should write A equal V2 minus V1 over delta T. So, we can write here acceleration equal V2 equal how many? V2 here and V1 here. Here time delta t here. So we can write 20 minus 40 over 2 equal negative 20 over 2 equal how many? Equal negative 10 meter per second power 2 and we know this acceleration or this type of acceleration is deceleration or what or negative acceleration why because in this case final speed greater than initial speed so dear students as we see from these previous questions as problems depends on drawing as give reason as what happens uh, when we should use uh, uh, the uh, concept of understanding. I will use my points as efforts from the previous information to answer this question. Read the question more than one time. Each question in one page. And uh, I hope you have uh, more uh, chance to get high marks to the, uh, tomorrow. Okay. All right. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much, Mr. Mohammed Mahmoud, uh, for all your effort, uh, not just uh, on this episode, but throughout uh, uh, the semester. Thank you very thank much. You, thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so that brings us to the end of this episode. Dear students of the third prep grade, we've had a general review on science. Uh, uh, just because uh, some people in some governorates asked for this uh, revision. Uh, so here we are, and I hope that you'll be doing uh, very well uh, on your exam uh, papers. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, episode will be rerun uh, at 2 a.m. ما تنسوش تنضموا لجروب برنامجنا مدرسة على الهواء ابتدائي واعدادي 
كل التوفيق ليكم ثانك يو اول فور واتشينج اند انتيل يو اجين اتس جود باي